Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here in Bolton, and another MTK show. It's been April since the last one, but I'm delighted to be joined by Jay Harris to my left over here, promoter Lee Eaton, Robert Diaz, and Ricardo Sandoval. Uh, first of all, for you two gentlemen on the right here, welcome to Bolton. Um, Thank you very much. Well, IBF final eliminator, Sonny Edwards. The flyweight division right now is absolutely booming with Martinez as the champion. He's a little animal. Eddie Hearn sings his praises every single day. Sonny Edwards. He's not shy to mix his words up, and we've got you two young gentlemen here going to fight it out Friday night. And uh, me personal, I love the little guys. I think he's fight so fast. There's so many punches being thrown. It's an exciting fight, so I'm looking forward to it. But for Lee Eaton, wow, what a fight we've got on our hands, haven't we? Yeah, an unbelievable fight. First of all, thank you for Ricardo and Roberto for coming all the way to Bolton. Um, yeah, it's an unbelievable fight. IBF final eliminator. Uh, obviously, the, that fight won't be ordered next because obviously Sonny has a mandatory next, but this will be the next mandatory. Um, so, obviously, we know a great win by Sonny Edwards uh, against um, Maruti Mafalan, sorry. Um, an unbelievable performance. So, both of them, whoever wins, will have the, the hardest nights ever. But listen, this is a fantastic fight. Jay's coming off. Um, a quick win last year but obviously coming off the Martinez win uh, a great fight in America first time in America and he put up a hell of a show um, an unbelievable performance and he deserves another crack at the world title and obviously we've got Ricardo he's an unbelievable fighter and they've both got exactly the same mm. records 18 and 1 and it's all to go for on Friday night I'm looking forward to it some words from you then Roberto it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get it any better. I mean, it, this is a real fight. It's a 50-50 fight. It's, it has a lot at stake for the winner. Um, when you have both fighters that are coming with that mentality to win, you get a great fight. And that's what they should be. And, and look, it, we're happy to be here in Manchester. I have a lot of friends out here. The Hattons, Quig, uh, Anthony Crolla. Been here before. Been here, done that. And now with Ricardo. Um, we know we have a real fight in our hands. We know what's at stake, but the world's gonna know and obviously be gifted with a beautiful fight. But come Friday, I'm hoping Ricardo picks up a lot more fans here in Manchester. Well, UK fans, uh, you know, you've seen, you've been in Vegas many times, but you mentioned Ricky Hatton there, the amount of fans that we bring over to Vegas, Tyson Fury does it. So to pick up some UK fans would be a wonderful thing, Ricardo, wouldn't it? That would be great. You know, it's the first time being here. And it's a very beautiful place. I really enjoy it. Talk to me about Jay Harrison. I know you've travelled all this way. You've got the exact same record. I think you might have four, maybe three or four more knockouts on your record than Jay. But what do you know of this man in front of you? I know that he's a he's a great fighter. You know he he uh, established he established his jab good. He likes to throw a lot of punches and you know he's he's he stands well on his feet. So it's gonna be a great fight. You, you've seen his fight against uh, Martinez. I'm guessing you've watched some yes. of his fights. Like I say. He's, he's proved himself at world level. We've seen what Martinez has done to other fighters, but Jay stood there for the 12 rounds, hit him with some good shots. So are you expecting the best Jay Harris? Are you expecting a tough, durable Jay Harris on Friday night? No, I'm expecting the best, uh, the best. You know, he's a, uh, like he said, he said he had experience and I'm, 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 I'll be, I'll be ready for him come Friday night. Jay, I mean, you fought for that world title. Uh, February 2019 against Martinez in Texas. I was there for that fight and I actually said in the podcast not long ago it was one of my favourite fights of 2019 just the way you stood there so you've, you've fought for that world title you've, the hunger's there yeah, how definitely. desperate are you to get this win this and get a shot at that IBF obviously you got to face a tough guy in Ricardo there so again how desperate are you to get this other world title shot and you said it there um, I had a taste of it and um to be honest, from winning the Commonwealth title, I, I honestly didn't think that I would propel onto world level. But as soon as I got a little bit of it, and I, I know I fell short of it, but it, it gave me that I, I won it, like sort of thing. But um, Ricardo, he's, he's a great fighter. I've watched him many times on YouTube now. This this fight is going to be a great fight, I, I think. And um, no, I have massive respect for him from coming over and everything. It's, it, it has really got a 50-50 fight, 18 and one both of us, and I think the fans are in for another treat. I think. Last time I mentioned the little guys. This is for the two guys, the two older guys in the middle. Well, you, you might be old. I don't know. This is, uh, he's the younger <laughs> one. The oldest, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're saying it's a 50-50 fight. Do you agree with that? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. I I believe Jay Harris 
um, losses make you better. <clears throat> and I believe that fight showed him, his team, and improved him from the Martinez fight. Now we're gonna see even a better Jay Harris. However, Sandoval is not Martinez. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see something, and this is the treat that we're gonna see back from those days of Finito Lopez, Chiquita Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Those smaller weight classes sometimes worldwide don't get the respect and the attention, but it's fights like these, fights like you did with Martinez that show that this division has just as much or more than the bigger divisions that throw 20 punches around and hold for a minute and a half. These guys throw close to 60 to 80 punches around and don't hold or grab. So mm. this is where the action's at. And I think we're going to see that on Friday night. Lee, like I say, 100, 80 to 100 punches around. The little guys don't hold. I'm sorry for calling you little guys. You can kick my ass. So <laughs> I do apologize. Uh, they don't hold. We're in for yeah, no, listen, that's what I'm saying. What, obviously, what Roberto said there, the little guys are uh, the relentless, non-stop uh, throwing punches. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited as a fan. Um, to obviously see there off the top of the bill um, it's going to be a great fight and I'm really looking forward to it for both teams who's going home 19 and 1 who's going home 18 and 2 come on Jay, Jay. <laughs> team Harris you know what I think uh, no doubt about the fans are going to win mm. it's, a, it's the fans are going to win they can't come out of this yeah. fight not winning um, we're just hoping that look my, my, my uh, request is the right man gets the decision yeah, 100%. with that, with that, 100%. I'm happy mm -hmm. yeah. because the better man's gonna win up in the ring. Yeah. It's just that he gets what he deserves. Yeah, 100%. final one before I let you go. Sonny Edwards is that IBF champion now. Sonny is a great fight here in in the UK. He's he's, he's funny. He's, he he likes to talk. He, he can he can hold his own, and he's, he's a great fighter in his own right. Is that? The IBF route, Sonny Edwards, that, that fight, how interesting is that for you and, and Sandoval? Would you come back to the UK to face the champion Sonny Edwards? Or would you like that fight, a big fight, a big night, big fight night in Vegas or whatever? First things first is Friday. Mm -hmm. There is no Sonny Edwards until Ricardo gets that hand raised on Friday night. And it's not going to be an easy task. So first things first is Friday. Um, after Friday night, we'll get back together as a team, sit down, see what's out there, see when it's going to happen, and see what the best alternative is. There's other opportunities as well for Ricardo right now. We just got to weigh out what the option is and what the turnaround time could be. I mean, for you, Jay, Sonny Edwards, both UK fighters, Lee, MTK, I mean, it's an easy fight if you win for us to get on, to get that world title fight going, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, they're two good mates. Uh, they've been they've been close for a few years. Um, so, it's, it's, it's an easy fight to make. They're both with MTK. Um, obviously, Sonny has his mandatory next. Uh, obviously, when if we're hoping Jay goes and wins on Friday night and then at the end of the year or early 2022 we, we get um, an all-British IBF flyweight title fight. Finally then, for the two fighters, two-point question here. What can the fans expect from you, Ricardo? And have you got a final word for Jay? I, uh, I expect a, a hungry... No, this is my first time coming out for a title limiter, so I'm, I'm going to get everything I can. So I expect a lot of punches for the action fight. And I'll be ready. Got any final words you'd like to say? I just wish you the best and uh, better let the best man win. Same question to you. Any words for Ricardo? I mean, he's traveled all this way, punch your face in, man. You must, <laughs> you must, you must, you must have something to say to him. Look, I'm not, I'm not a, one of them guys that just throws abuse at people. Um, no, honestly, I think this fight is going to be a great fight. Um, I know he's going to give 100%. I'm going to give my 100% because this is where I belong. Um, I want another crack at that world title. He's young, he's hungry, he wants, wants to come up. So this, this fight is, is going to make him to be an absolute tear up. We, th we throw a lot of punches, both of us. And then when the fight Sonny Edwards, which as you know, he's a pal of mine and, and it's, everybody's been talking about that fight for, for a good couple of years now. But um, no, I just want to wish him all the best. Um, may the best man win, as he just said, and uh, hope we go home safe, pretty much. Well, perfect way to end this then. Gentlemen, thank you so much for sitting down and being respectful. One of us, it's, it's nice when boxing, opposite teams can get on with each other. There's no table flipping unless you want to do it right now. So, but there we go. <laughs> right, guys, thank you so much for doing this, and uh, I'll see you fight night, guys. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Well done, Let's.